Hello my funky Fenix. It's your boy Zionic Blader and in this video I will be ranking every Fenica Ultra released in Bakugan Geogon Rising from worst to best. I will be ranking them by their competitive viability in the Bakugan Pro TCG. The interesting thing about Fenica Ultra is that this is a Bakugan that is capable of double coring. A well-trained brawler will be able to take advantage of this and as a result pick up two cores instead of one. So I will be taking that into consideration when ranking these Bakugan. Double coring is something that was possible in the past but in the Geogun Rising format became something much more reliable and was something quite a few Bakugan could do. But enough talk, let's get on with the list. Number 6, Aurelis Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of two Green Fists, which at this point were more popular for giving discounts for gears rather than boosting a moderate amount of damage. Aurelis Fenica Ultra has a stat line of 500 B power and 1 damage, as well as the Victor ability of drawing two cards when you win a brawl. Yeah, good luck with that. Aurelis Fenica Ultra is so bad that even if it were to double core with its two green fists, it would not be able to put up much of a fight. It would need to use two cores from other Bakugan to even be good, and with it only giving two green fists, it's not worth even doing that, making Aurelis Fenica Ultra the worst Fenica Ultra on this list. Number 4, Chaos Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a poor core lineup of Shield and Green Fist, which really only give moderate boosts in B power or damage respectively. Chaos Fenica Ultra has a stat line of 800 B power and 2 damage. If Chaos Fenica Ultra double cores with its own cores, it won't be able to put up much of a fight, even with its impressive 800 base B power. Chaos Fenica Ultra would need to use another Bakugan's Magic Shield to be worth using. But unfortunately, Chaos Fenica Ultra does not really give high quality cores in return, making it not worth it. While Chaos Fenica Ultra can reach good numbers using other Bakugan's cores, the other Bakugan on this list can reach good numbers without having to take from other Bakugan. Chaos Fenica Ultra also has a 7 cost diamond evolution which bumps its stats up to 2200 B power and 10 damage. 7 energy is quite steep, and with cards being harder to obtain in this format, you'd have to buy 3 diamond toys to get a playset, which I don't feel is worth it. Number 4, Pyrus Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a nice core lineup of Shield and Fire Fist, with the Fire Fist taking center stage due to it being the highest damage boosting core in the game. Pyrus Fenica Ultra has a stat line of 500 B power and 5 damage. When on the plus 6 Fire Fist, it reaches a nice 11 damage which is good for a highest damage wins play. Pyrus Fenica Ultra is solid without double coring, so it double coring is a nice bonus. Number 3, Aquas Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a great core lineup of 2 Helix cores which are great at giving boosts in B power at the cost of damage or damage at the cost of B power. Aquas Fenica Ultra has a stat line of 200 B power and 8 damage, as well as the effect of rerolling once, which is great if a brawler misses a roll, wants a different core, or has their core removed and wants to get back to top condition. The reroll effect is especially great for Aquas Fenica Ultra, since picking up the second core is more up to chance, so being able to reroll and try again is very beneficial. Aquas Fenica Ultra specializes in damage. With its high base 8 damage, when on the minus 200 B power plus 5 damage helix core, this Bakugan can hit for 13 damage. If it's able to double core with both of its helix cores, that's 18 damage, which is amazing. Number 2, Darkest Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a great core lineup of Helix and Fire Fist. Helix is a very versatile core to have, and Fire Fist is always great for damage. Darkest Fenica Ultra has a stat line of 400 B power and 4 damage, and the effect of gaining 500 B power when on a Helix core. Darkest Fenica Ultra is a very versatile Bakugan. Being strong in both B power or damage, even before taking into account double coring. Darkest Fenica Ultra can reach 1500 B power when on the plus 600 B power minus 3 damage Helix core, or 10 damage when on the plus 6 Fire Fist. 
If double coring, using the plus 600 minus 3 helix core and the plus 250 plus 3 fire fist, will have darkest Fenico Ultra at 1750B power. While using the minus 200 plus 5 helix core and the plus 6 fire fist, will have darkest Fenico Ultra at 15 damage, which is also amazing. Number 1, Ventus Fenica Ultra. This Bakugan has a great core lineup of Magic Shield and Helix, which are both great for boosting B power. With a stat line of 800 B power and 1 damage, Ventus Fenica Ultra specializes in B power. Ventus Fenica Ultra is great because even before double coring, it can reach 1450 B power on its plus 650 B power boosting Magic Shield, making it one of the best Ventus Bakugan for B power. Its ability to double core makes it one of the best B power Bakugan in the format, with it reaching 2050 B power when on the plus 650 magic shield and the plus 600 minus 3 helix core. The only downside is that its damage will be at zero, but for it to reach such a high B power number without evolving makes Ventus Fenica Ultra worth it, as well as the best Fenica Ultra on this list. Well, this has been Zionic Blader with my worst to best of the Geogun Rising Fenica Ultras. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm interested to read your opinion since I had a bit of difficulty ranking the top 3 on this list since double coring adds another layer of competitiveness and luck to the game. Also, let me know your favorite Fenica Ultra released in Geogun Rising and be sure to hit the like button, or don't. I'm not the boss of you, but be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get updated whenever I upload. Until next time, see ya.